Hey guys, in today's video, we're taking a look at iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus running iOS 12. Apple released iOS 12 just a few days ago, and I've been testing it on multiple devices. As a matter of fact, if you haven't watched my iPhone 6S review on iOS 12, links will be in the description. But today we're taking a look at the iPhone 7. I want to share with you guys my experience in regards to battery performance and how the software is performing overall. So let's begin. First, I want to talk about a few things such as the animations, the speed of the software, the camera, uh, scrolling, the keyboard, all those things that are important that you do day in and day out. I also want to talk about some of the UI changes as well, new applications. Let's start with the camera because Apple promises a 70% faster launching the camera. It means that when you open the camera application, the shutter should be ready pretty much instantly. And it is after the first launch, I would say, but it is. It is a lot faster launching applications, going into the app switcher. All these things just feel a lot better. Now scrolling on Safari, it's a lot smoother. It feels more natural. It's not a lot faster than iOS 11 because this is software driven, but you can see there, it is a natural feel through the scrolling, which I really, really like. Uh, also, some of the UI changes on the stock applications redesign is here. The new memos application completely redesigned is also fully featured here. And the new measures application, which is a very cool application here to measure things using augmented reality is also fully featured as expected on iPhone 7 as well. I want you guys to notice that when I scroll through things, when I browse through the OS, bring down notification center, control center, these things just flow. They're pretty good, pretty nice speed. The animations are very nice. It doesn't seem choppy at all, even launching applications like settings. You see there when I scroll through settings, it also has a more natural feel on the iPhone 7, which is totally a plus. I haven't experienced any crashes, any problems as of yet on iPhone 7 or 7 Plus. I always like to perform a benchmark here just to see what the numbers look like on the latest version of iOS 12 here for the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. We're going to run this test and after this one I'm going to show you the battery performance test that I performed and give you guys my thoughts on the battery as well. So let's wait for the numbers here on the CPU. All right so the numbers are in iPhone 7 Plus single core score 3563, multi-core score 6090, iPhone 7 3552 single core score and 6052. So not bad numbers here on both devices. Now I want to talk about battery performance on both of these devices after hours upon hours of testing. And again, I want to mention those of you who are still concerned about your battery capacity. If your device is an iPhone 7 and it's not below 60%, you're going to be fine. This software here is programmed to tell you when you need a battery replacement. So for those of you who still ask about this question or might be concerned, if your battery is not suggested to be replaced by the software, this portion of the software here, battery health, then you should be okay. So let's take a look at my battery. Test. So after hours upon hours of testing, obviously the iPhone 7 Plus on the left, the iPhone 7 on the right, the brightness and volume were up 100%, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi was enabled, all the same tasks were performed on both devices, launch in the app store, browsing through the web, you know, the normal stuff that you would do day in and day out, but the display was on at all times. And I got five hours, approximately five hours and 15 minutes of on-screen time on both devices. Now that doesn't mean your device will last five hours, my tests are a little more extreme, what I'm getting here is that at least 20 to 30 extra minutes of on-screen time in iOS 12 versus iOS 11. So if your device used to last you seven, eight hours a day, just add approximately 20 to 30 minutes of extra on-screen time on iPhone 7 if you upgrade to iOS 12. So there you guys have it. Should you update your iPhone 7 or 7 Plus to iOS 12? And if you update it, was it a good decision? In my opinion, it is. Unless you're looking for jailbreaking, you should be on iOS 12. More features, better battery, better performance, more stability. It's the better software all around. So if you're looking to update or already update, you made a good decision. And if you're not intending to jailbreak, I would definitely recommend updating to iOS 12 on iPhone 7 and 7 Plus because it is a solid software update. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.